There's a film that's coming out next week that a lot of people have been worried about that could be extremely divisive, especially during this election year, called Civil War. The fact that this movie is coming out this year, of all years, uh, with a very important election, seems to be kind of on the nose. This uh, crazy twist has been happening, okay, that nobody really saw coming, because even the woke media is extremely disappointed by this, because we have cast members of the film, Kirsten Dunst, Nick Offerman, who are basically shutting down all of the woke media journalists who are trying to pay this is some sort of attack on Trump and all this type of stuff and uh, this is actually kind of surprising to see so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this and see what some of these people have to say about it. This is actually kind of crazy stuff. There's been a lot of critics who are basically saying, This is a film that is showing just how terrible Orange Man bad is for our country. And it's, uh, of course, it looks like that is not the actual case, which is kind of surprising. I mean... It's one of those things where I'm going to have to actually see the film for myself to actually judge if this is the case or not, and I'll definitely let you guys know what I think about the film when I see it. Offerman's president, for example, has fascistic tendencies and is currently serving his third term. It must be Trump, of course. Of course, that is what everyone has been thinking up until this time. But... We have Nick Offerman himself who talks about this, so let's go ahead and check it, this out and see what he has to say. There's obvious comparisons to Trump here and obviously our political climate. How closely did you kind of want to play that? It honestly didn't even come up. Um, it's so unrelated to any... It was kind of interesting that he nodded his head right there for a second when she was saying that, but then he gives a very interesting response. Actual uh, factions or politicians. Um, everybody, that, that's what... What I think is so brilliant about this film is that everybody on any side of the aisle or, or any faction has a lot to say and, and uh, uh, we're all immediately divisive and partisan in our conversations. Everybody's mad about those, jer those other jerks and this movie transcends that and has n none of it. It's about all of us, and I'm so grateful for that. I think it's so brilliant. It's so thoughtful of Alex. It would be so easy to make this movie and lay in some Easter eggs and, and like, you know, some of this or that, but that you would lose half your audience one way or the other, and instead, this is like a great novel. It's for everybody to say, oh, maybe heading towards uh, war in our country is not the best route. Maybe we should reconsider the direction we're heading. Now, that is a good message right there. I don't think that war would actually be good for America no matter what. So no, no matter how you spin that, it would not be a good thing for the United States. And uh, I have a couple thoughts here, okay? First of all, I do not trust Hollywood whatsoever. Nick Offerman can say what he has to say here, but the track record proves that Hollywood is always after the agenda. So I'm going to have to actually watch it for myself to see if this is actually the case. But it would not surprise me if they were told before they started the press tour, hey, don't make this a divisive thing. Don't make this a political thing where, yes, maybe we did push some of the Trump type of stuff in the film, but don't actually say that to, to the media because we want people to go and watch our film. Over at the far left of Variety, its reporter tried to do the same with co-star uh, Kirsten Dunst. Mission unaccomplished, but it's impossible to watch Civil War, this is coming from the reporter, without being reminded of this year's presidential election. You know, the one where democracy and maybe the fate of the free world hangs in the balance? I'm sick of all these people, okay? But, for instance, Dunst won't admit, emphasis added, that the film's president, played by Nick Offerman, is a narcissist with an authoritarian streak, resembles the 45th and perhaps 47th Oval Office occupant it feels fictitious to me she says of any connection between offerman's character and donald trump i don't want to compare because that's the antithesis of the film it's just a fascist president but i don't think about nick's character being any certain political figure i just thought that this is the president in this world who will not abide by the constitution and democracy kirsten dunst even took it a step further by absolutely blasting the woke media which is absolutely hilarious dunst addressed head on the ma major theme of civil war the political and cultural divisions in the U.S. that are ripping the country apart, and she pinpointed a major big culprit in all of that. Media really stokes it big time. She says, the media is forcing us to choose a side. Everything's a lot more complicated than that. I am very interested to see what this film is actually going to have as far as the messaging and all that type of stuff, but let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you going to be checking out Civil War? Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.